Hello and good Monday, April 12th, 2010. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. Today in 1961, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human to travel into outer space and the first to orbit the Earth. This is also the day of the first launch of a space shuttle, Columbia STS-1. Yep, there it is. This is also the day that I experienced the Cat Piano Concerto for the first time ever. By all means, with the ability to toggle between cat sounds from to this one 99 cent application is worth buying an iPad for. Speaking subjectively, of course, but in an effort to set the course astray, Adam Harvey at the NYU's ITP program has designed a series of facial graphics to foil today's commonly used facial recognition technologies, such as the kind you find in today's consumer-oriented cameras. That's right, I said, Adam Harvey at the NYU's ITP program has designed a series of facial graphics to foil today's commonly used facial recognition technologies, such as the kind you find in today's consumer-oriented cameras. Practical uses could range from assisting terrorists to fun with friends at parties. Now Prime Minister of the UK, Gordon Brown, can have something to say about it. The life-size cutout with dry erase board was installed near the Houses of Parliament in London by the artist Contra and helps provide a good reason to paint your face before writing the wrong thing on this speech bubble. With cameras everywhere, being paranoid is hard work, but the hours pay. In sports, a 26.2 mile, eight day Antarctic ice marathon, the southernmost marathon on Earth, and a stop away from the South Pole is scheduled for this December. It's not too late to register if you're up for the perma-freeze lifestyle that would be the questions and answers of your own misery should you find yourself there. If you have the registry fee of $17,000, if I had $17,000 to spend, I'd spend it on this. Else, Magibon makes her return in Japan. Found by Tokyo Mango Downtown, Magabon appears in an ad featured by Yodobashi Camera in Akihabara. We'll be keeping our eyes on Newcastle, Wyoming this summer. This is where the greatest grasshopper infestation that ever was could be. For according to grasshopper infestation experts in the region, conditions are prime for their arrival to cover streets, eat crops, and sh everywhere. And today is the day you are watching this news. And if not already seen as the news, whatever news may be, it's news if it's news to me. And by the way, I also wanted to mention that Roy Sullivan has been struck by lightning seven times. There is a picture of Roy and there is lightning.